everyone. Thank you so much for joining us uh, for Music Making with Kevin. Uh, my name is Gabe, this is Kevin. Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to go over a few things to make life easy for you. So first things first, this is a recorded space. Um, so if you feel comfortable, if you need to, uh, feel free to take your camera off if that makes you more comfortable. Also, in addition to that, um, this will be available for you later. We'll send you an email with the link for everything that we're gonna be doing. Um, and then even more importantly, um, if you have any questions at all, I'll be your chat wizard. If you have any questions, I'll be the one to help you answer them. We uh, also have a few extra people here today to help us out because we're going to be making music for the first time virtually. So we yeah. have Jess and Dan, uh, I think maybe we're, I don't know, maybe. Um, uh, and then also Senator John behind the camera. He's the, the magical computer wizard. He waves even though you can't see him. Um, so we'll be making some music today uh, with Kevin. Um, and then... Yeah, let's get to it. Yeah. Woohoo! All right. So, I am the aforementioned Kevin. So, we're just going to take a little bit of time to make sure everybody gets here, arrives in the same space. And I will probably say this a few times, but uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to go through the app Soundtrap, which is a very fun app to make music with. And so we're going to first be building tunes using beats and melodies and anything else that you want to add to give it a little bit more flavor. And eventually break up into small groups so that you can talk amongst yourselves and work on a smaller uh, platform so that you can talk through the songs that you're making. So here for... People that are here, I know a bunch of you have used Soundtrap. Uh, are there folks who have not used Soundtrap yet? Is this a brand new thing for anybody? Because if it's not, then we can get really, really wild, but we don't, you know, we can still take it step by step. It's new for me. Right on. Get ready. Uh, so. Also, Nayeli shared in the chat it's new, new for Nayeli as well. Oh, great. OK, awesome. So I am going to, you know, I'm just going to kind of start. As if people, if we get more people, which I'm, I'm sure we will, we can backtrack. We have documents created so that you can uh, see what we've done. But so, Nayeli, are you in the Soundtrap studio? Do you feel like you are in there and for the, um, the demo studio? I think, and, is, and that goes, that's, sorry, that goes for everybody. It's everybody in the demo studio. All right, great. So, Depending on, is anybody using a tablet or a phone right now? If everybody's on a laptop, I can just go ahead and dive right in without making the, you know, letting you know how it works on a tablet, which is fascinating. So if. Nayeli if is using know, a Surface. Is using a what? I'm sorry. A Surface, which is a tablet. Okay, oh, but perfect then. So sorry, heard circus, and I wanted to learn a lot more about that. But so the first step, so once you come into the studio, I am hoping that it looks like this. This first page where you have these six different options in the center of your screen. Now, on my laptop, there's a, a, a button, and it may not look like this on your tablet, but I'm going to click this pattern beat maker thing that you may not have, but I'm going to click onto what it might look like for this. So if we go to creating um, a beat, does this look familiar? We have these different, you know, circular little, little guys that... Uh, are representing a drum kit. So if you're using a tablet or your phone, 
this is where you're going to be creating your beat. Because again, we're going to create a beat and then melodies and harmonies on top of those. I'll give you some tips and tricks for that. Uh, so first off, with on a, on a tablet, you'll be able to tap these. Each one of these will give you a different sound. And for me, if I click on them or if I play on the keyboard, I can get those sounds. So you're going to be hearing. So the, the most important parts of the drum kit, uh, if you're in this type of, oops, sorry, this thing's, OK. Uh, if you're in this sort of configuration, are going to be your bass drum, which is this large circle that has an A in the middle on the screen, and then the snare drum which has, is directly to the left of that with the little D and we've got an X. So when you build a beat, this is your foundation. And what you can do is you can start layering more of the other parts of the drum kit on top of that once you have your kick and your snare. So as you play, so the first thing that's going to happen is down here at the bottom kind of left of the screen, we have how we control how we record. So we have a red dot, that means record, and we have a couple of different arrows. This means the arrow right next to the red dot means go back all the way. The arrow, the single arrow means play, and the other ones mean just move around. But so now if I go ahead, so I am going to begin recording. Just I'm going to try to tap it out. I'm going to actually do it A and D. OK. What you get when you start recording, I'm going to hit the red dot. And you're going to get a count of eight beats. So it's going to say you're going to get four. You're going to get groupings of four twice. Can't remember if it's one, two, three, four, or four, three, two, one twice. Sorry about that. but. I'll just show you. So two, here, one, two, three, four. All right. Was everybody able to hear that? Yeah? OK. Yeah. So on, a, on your notebook, you'll be able to just tap, you know, you want to be able to stick as close as you can to the to that count that you get at the very beginning. But so one thing to know up here is so if you go to the top, we just recorded up here. This is our track. If you put your cursor or your finger over the top right of this little red part, if we want to repeat that over and over, you click it and then you just drag it. And now we get Oh wait, sorry. Keeps wanting to. There we go. Still wants to do that. But it would be repeating. <laughs> so sorry. Now, I got myself into a little bit of a pickle with this. With this part up here, it's just looping it. But still, it stays the same that you would be able to drag it, click it, and drag it. Now, I think, so what you could also do is then, if you see this gray bar up here, Yeah. You can see that. Oh, yeah, here we go. Aha. We got we got an attempt. Beautiful. All right. Nice. So that is a 
beautiful example of a, of a single measure that's being looped to create a beat. And now, I don't, I gotta get rid of this thing real quick. Oh, there we go, I got rid of it. Now, haha, I did it. So, you can do it one measure. Now, this, you can also make it, I'm gonna go back to the, so if I, I'm here, if you float your cursor or finger over, not right at the little curly cue, but just on the, the edge of the red space, we should be able to make it a little bit longer. So I'm going to see. Well, that, sorry, I meant to mute the other track, but now we've got something a little bit different. So now muting, if you do wind up, you know, recording several tracks in a row, you can go over to the, either the little, uh, it looks like a bell and an X, or if you just want to hear one at a time, you hit the headphones. So let's see what I just recorded. You know, I like the first thing that was uploaded a lot more than that. So that's where we're going to live. All right. Now, so that's how you do it on a tablet or your phone. I am going to mute that. So now for anybody else who is on a laptop, we have this grid now. What I like to do is first tap on a single measure. Again, you can do one measure, you can do more than one. I'm gonna make mine two measures long by just bringing my cursor over to the side and pulling it over to the next vertical line. And so here I have, when I look down on my little groupings of squares, you see a one and a two. So I brought it over to just we have two measures, so the one and the two correspond with the first measure and the second measure. Now, each cluster of squares is one beat. We can get into that more in a minute, but a classic way to make a, a beat is to just first group of squares. You want to get the kick drum, which is the one that is, I guess, highest on the screen. Second. Thing, the snare in the second group and then just kind of go back and forth. I'm going to do that one throughout both of those two. Now let's hear what that sounds like. All right, you might be hearing a little bit of feedback, but so that's just back and forth. And then as you create, you can start just adding more, adding more snare, adding more kick drum. But then if you go here all the way to the left, you can click on add and you get more parts of your drum kit. So you can start just adding. So if we want to keep our kick and snare, just like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. We can just have fun clicking around and experimenting with that. You know, no real, we don't need to focus on any sort of patterns. Just listen to it, give it a try, see what happens. Let's see what I just did. kind of fun. So just play around with that. If you give yourself a kick and a snare, you're going to have a lot of success creating more complex beats without even knowing it. So now let's move on to melodies. So when we get ready to create a new track, you want to go to the left and go down to our add track. Huh. When you click on that, the little plus sign in the left, sorry that you can't quite see it, it seems like, 
I'm going to go to keys. That's just kind of the most straightforward way to take this next. And we have, we can change the sound, we can do whatever we want from here on out. So now, if you're using a tablet or a phone, a keyboard will just show up, hopefully. And if it doesn't, let us know. And you'll be able to play along by tapping the keys on your keyboard. Uh, just like, so if you're doing it on a laptop and you like playing it this way, you can play the keys on your keyboard, on your computer keyboard. But if you're using a tablet, it, it'll feel and look a little bit more like a regular piano. So, all right. So now, so same sort of thing. Now you're gonna see that it's a little bit, so if I start, and you know what? I'm just gonna go up here for a second. I'm going to stretch that out just to see the process clicking. Uh, I am going to V, where's V? Get my four. One, two, three, four. All right. So. I wasn't able to hear it as I was playing it, but, oh, because I muted it, so sorry. Again, the, if you click the headphones, that means it's soloed, so you'll only hear that. And if you hit the, uh, the little, little speaker with the X, that means you've muted it completely. So now, that's why we couldn't hear it. I apologize. So here's my little line. Oh, we got, we got a cat in the screen. Show your pets. Now, when you're in, when you're creating, uh, once you've moved off of the beat making, you can also, so I, I picked the keys, right? But there should be a, a button where you see the piano. Hopefully you can see my screen. Uh, I have it set on grand piano. So on the left of the screen, you have the type of instrument or like instrument family. In the middle, you'll have different t types of that instrument family. So here we've got pianos, choirs thrown in, organs. And then if you, so if we click on organs, we have all of these different very specific organs. But so let's say, let's say we don't want to have, you just did something, tap something out on the keyboard. Uh, you don't want to have any sort of keyboard instrument. You want it to be more orchestral. So let's, so you click on orca, orchestral and let's say you're nuts about uh, woodwinds. So now we click on woodwind and ah, finally clarinet. Click on that. Now our melody. Is now a clarinet. Again, so this is your, that area where you see now woodwind clarinet. You can start having a lot of fun. If you feel like you're not comfortable uh, with what you're doing and maybe you want to make something or if you just want to kind of go out a little bit and make it a little bit more avant-garde, you can go to something like synths. It's a very fun place to find some wild sounds. Even FX, let's see what those are. Uh, FX, I've got, ooh, 8-bit coins. I have a feeling I know what this is going to sound like, but let's let's see what it sounds like. Nice. Uh, and so on and so forth. 
So, th so that's at least how you find new sounds. So when you're playing actively on the, on the piano keypad on your screen, you have a little bit more freedom to just play live with your drum beat or just play live on your own. Now, for folks who are using a laptop, I'm going to add another, I'm going to add another, uh, another track. Again, that's over here. And I'm going to go to keys. So you have two options. You can, you can tap the keys with your cursor, you can play it on the computer keyboard, or you can go to piano roll. This allows you to just click on what they're calling this piano roll. So it's kind of just a little grid. Uh, I would say if you want to make sure that it's going to sound pleasant when you're listening back to it, as you see, the, the horizontal lines are, there are some gray ones and then the white ones. We're going to keep it in the key of C, which on a keyboard would just be the white keys and, or A, a minor, but, um, or D Dorian, whatever. But so keep it on the, uh, avoid the, avoid the gray keys. Just because if you want to stack and create a chord, you're going to have more success if you just keep it on those, uh, the lighter lines. So if I do this now, let's see what happens. I'm going to now mute again, the little speaker with the X. I'm going to mute the last thing I did and I am going to drag this, whatever it is I just tapped into a sound trap. Let's see what happens. So that you can, you just tap, and if you don't like the length of something, if you want to change it, it's, it's similar. Oh, you might have to enlarge the screen by, depending on your device. If you're using a Mac, you know, the old uh, two finger, make it bigger. <laughs> I'm sure there's a term for that. Uh, so that you can, again, if you go to the edge of your rectangle, your sound rectangle. Again, I'm sure there's a better word for that. Uh, you can change the length. So, so you have a lot of freedom if you're using sound rectangle. <laughs> yeah. So if anybody wants to start a band uh, called Sound Rec Rectangle, uh, I would like to join. So let's, so again, down here at the bottom, we have our controls. So I am the triangle with the line is go to the top. The double triangles in either directions are kind of scooch around. And then regular old triangle on its side is just play it. Let's try it, regular old triangle on the side. Hey, that's music, regardless. <laughs> so, so how is everybody feeling about making a piece? So what we'd like to do is kind of, all right, I got some clappy hands. There we go. Uh, and again, piece might seem like a, like a more uh, advanced term, but just we are, we're just gonna make a beat that sounds fun and then add music to it. Or different elements of music. Beats are music in and of themselves. But uh, does anybody have any questions right now? Because I think we're going to break up a little bit and just start. What's that? We're going to stay together. Haha, <laughs> this is good. <laughs> so, uh, this, is, this is why I have friends with me. Um,
keeping it keeping it real, keeping me honest. So, oh, that's even better. So here's the other thing that I haven't shared yet that is very crucial. So as we collaborate together, on the right hand side of the screen, you see these little, we've got a couple of musical notes. We have two people looking folks, uh, a, a speech bubble, and then sticks, popsicle sticks. We don't have to worry about any of those other than the two people. So when we, uh, so every time you create something new, go to the two purple people, click on that, and try to, and then hit sync when it's, when you're prompted to, uh, if nobody's created. So every time you create something that you feel good about, you can hit save in your app, and then you can sync it. You may not even need to hit save, can't recall that all of a sudden, but regardless, the sync is the crucial part. So just hit sync, and then you get to see what everybody's been making, or you get to add what you've created to the group situation. That's what I'm going to call it that. Save, and then sync. Save, then sync. Save, then sync. All right. So now, let's just, just see what happens. Start playing along, playing around, explore the instrument settings, uh, explore whatever you would like to explore. I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to start with a beat uh, that, again, I can, I can control muting it and whatnot. We can try different, um, different combinations of people's beats, melodies, harmonies. Uh, but I'm going to start with a beat. And if anybody wants to see what that looks like, I'm going to go to Oh, here we go. Now we're in business. Play it more. There it is. Ooh. No, I'm going to get rid of it. I got rid of one of my one of my things. I think I can do better. Or I think I can Create something. Everybody can. Everybody is going to hear me if I, I make like a goofy beat. That's fine. I just don't want to uh, influence anybody by my uh, wacky beats. Well, do you think, do you, uh, do you see any of the beats up there that aren't yours and see if we can start off with someone else's beat and see if we can start adding on to someone else's? Sure. Do I ever. Oh, here's, here's a beat. What do we got here? I'm going to play this one. Nice. Ooh, we got a bright synth line. Let's see what do we got here. Nice. Nice. So, uh, now, 
now. Okay. Now, we do have, I feel like, a small enough group, if people want to take themselves off mute to, to talk a little bit, you can. I'm going to make a thing here. What do we got? Ooh, let's hear lean kit here. And everybody okay if I just like uh, play play the newly synced? All right, I got a thumbs up. Thumbs up. Wait, oh, I'm playing two things at once. Here we go. That was cool though. Ooh, I like that. Who made that? <laughs> Which one? I got Latin kit. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> nice. So what's fun is in a larger setting, Folks can, um, you know, sync up, provide their, their either moments or like larger gestures of music, and then you know you can mix it in here. You can you can do all sorts of all sorts of little fun thingies, and that's a that's a legit musical term, fun thingies. Yeah, see, I'm going to, I'm going to add to that. Oh yeah, great point. Now, again, so we had the, the 8-bit thing. We've got, there's a wonderful, if you go into synths in your instrument setting, go into synths. Um, Actually, I don't remember the middle step, but so if you go to search the word alien, <laughs> you do get a setting called yodeling alien. So I guess that's under the FX section, which is just for fun. <laughs> uh, and you will find an incredible sound called yodeling alien. Where are you, yodeling alien? There you are. So I am going to use that. That's what it sounds like. Oh no, did I just turn something somebody something into that? Okay. I'm gonna make a yodeling alien part. Da, 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 da. So does it does this all make, feel like it makes sense as far as building a fun tune or, you know, just wild tune? Uh-oh, bright sense. No, I want yodeling alien. Piano roll. Get spooky. Actually, huh? let's see what this sounds like together.
So another fun thing that you can do, so I just made that with my uh, yodeling alien sound. Now, you're not, anytime you record something, you are not stuck into that sound or stuck with that sound. You can change it. So if I go to yodeling alien, my, oh, there we go. I'm gonna click on my track, go to instrument. I have FX yodeling alien. Let's say I do want to have a, a solo, uh, let's say I want to have a nice, a nice cello sound instead. Uh, yeah, so, so let's see what that sounds like. Unexpected. Lee Charming. Uh, ooh, what do we have over here? Oh no, I hope I'm not like accidentally muting more people than I should. If if I haven't played anybody's track, let me know. And let me know what what sound you use so that I can find it so that we can hear it. I think especially I'm looking at looking at warm roads over here. I'm gonna mute that. Ooh, wobble and shake. Right, let's see. Let's see what sort of Yes. Yeah, pretty good. And feel free to, so what is a, uh, what do we got down here? Hold on, I'm just going to, uh-oh, here we go, here comes trouble. Now we are art partying, partying, <laughs> art, oh boy. Oh, great point. Thank you. Do this again. All right, let's see a couple, couple of new additions. Let's see what happens here. So another good thing, so I'm glad that we had a uh, Brixton bass sound come in because if you want to build a song in this sort of app and you want to take it a little bit beyond just a, uh, a, a beat and a melody, you just, all you have to do is add a, a bass setting uh, or a bass sound because that's your, your classic kind of power trio, if you want a fun term. So you've got your, your rhythm section, which is now the drums and the bass. And then you have the freedom to create melodies and harmonies above that. But that three, having the, the drums, the bass, and then the melody is really all you need to create you know, a hit song, which is clearly the, the goal tonight is uh, creating hit songs. But I think we are well on our way already. So you want that just classic rhythm, something on the lower side, and then something on the higher side. That gives you all the room and all the foundation you need to start building beyond that, creating something that you know, it's going to change the world. 
You all have to listen to me when I uh, when I want to hear something silly that I wrote. Let's see what this is. Beautiful. Thanks. Thanks to that other track. This is good. This is good. At the end, we're going to have to figure out what we want to call ourselves as a, an electronic music collective. Okay, yeah. Do like an exquisite corpse of uh, exactly. naming, yeah. Yeah, at the end, everybody put in one word in the chat. And uh, EMC squared. All right. <laughs> well, I'll put in one word. Let's see what, what happened over here. I got some new. All right. Ooh. Killer Timbali part. Just saying. Timbali is the young son, the unsung hero of 90s jam bands. The word? The Timbali. Is that what you just played? Yeah, so we got a Timbali part over here. Well, I I'll solo it. Yeah, I just have fond memories of going to concerts and then somebody all of a sudden, this Timbali solo. So thanks to the Timbalis. Yeah. <laughs> At ease. All right, I'm going to add, let's add a little, a little something. Unexpected. What do I mean by that? Let's find out. Nope. Oh, yeah. Okay. Does everybody like to have on their hot dogs? I'm a full Chicago style person myself. Give me those peppers. Got nothing to lose. Let's see what happens here. Put your top hot dogs in the chat. <laughs> There's no right or wrong way to make music. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, it's, that's the note we don't need. <laughs> Maybe that's not my track. <laughs> I like that note, though. Oh, there, there's, there's the culprit. <laughs> said there's the culprit like the rest of it was good but it's all part of the magic and at the very least, what's going to happen in a minute is we're just going to turn on all the tracks. <laughs> and just go with it. On 
do a modifier right now. No way. Do, 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 do. All right. So one thing that you can do also um, in your own screen, you should be able to, again, over to the left of where you see the, the different tracks, we have our soloing function, the, uh, the headphones, and then the one with the X so that you can delete whatever you don't want to hear. Um, so, and then if you want to create a tune from what we have here, or just pick out what you made, or what you thought worked well with something else that you heard, you can then basically download this and have it uh, as your own tune. So, which can be in, uh, up on the left, you can go to, uh-oh, sorry, I'm in the wrong kind of spot. Here we go. You can hop up the intro from like the main menu if you want. Yeah. Here, where, uh, oh yeah, is it? Just the logo. All right. So I'm going bump, bouncing out. Save, yes. Definitely save it. So we were in. Actually, Gabe, you want to give me a hand? How do we do this again? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, Gabe. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. All righty. So um, with your projects, so on the left side, you see the, the toolbar and all your options. You got projects, users, and groups. We're in a group right now, but when you're on your own, you can just go straight to the white button that says Enter Studio, and boom shakalaka, you are brand new doing your thing. So at any time, if you're feeling it, you can jump into that. And this works on your phone, on your tablet, iPad, anything like that. Um, you can even record like your own audio. Like if you're just singing a song or you hear something cool and you want to record it and put it in, you can do that. Um, but if we go back, we just go to Projects, and then we go to Art. So, which that's in the art bar in Collaborate. Oh, yes. Yeah. There we go. And then there's our demo right mm -hmm. there. And we're back. Cool. But how do they download it at home? They want to have this on their Sun phone. Hat? Yeah, but oh. just like the, yeah. So, for, if you're on the computer, you do not need to download it at all. It's just browser-based. Right. So, you just go to Soundtrap.com or Google Soundtrap. Um, if you are tablet-based, you go to your your local neighborhood app store on your street corner and you ask the nice uh, wizard in the corner. No, you just go to your Google Play Store or your app store and it's available there. Um, and then that's it. And it works the same way, your same account that you make here. Uh, you can, I think, log in even with Facebook or Google. So that account works. So whatever you use now, the credentials to log in for that is the same. So you'd be able to log in and do that. I'm using it off my phone while we're doing it too. So, yeah. Sweet. All right, before we finish up, anything yeah. else you want to say? Do you want to, do you want to play the... Yes, the, yes the I do. The Miracle Song? Let's hear what all of this sounds like together. Prepare yourselves emotionally. Uh-huh. And your ears. Art party. Yeah, for sure. Nice work. And then Jess said, oh, if you uh, if you need if you can't live without this, and you need to listen it oh, on your on yeah. your drive to work or every morning when your breakfast or your alarm clock, uh, there's a download mix option. Um, you can share this as an MP3 file, which is your main way of sharing music as a file. Um, and you can import that into other things. You can make music and then put it into a video, a cartoon, your TikToks, anything. So um, that's. That's just about it. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for yeah. making weird stuff Thank with you. us. Um, if you have any questions at all, you're welcome to reach out to us, but we'll be reaching out to you after this uh, with a survey as well as the recording of this and a release if you'd like to share any of your music. And that's just, just like anyone else, just like Beyonce, there's an agreement. You made art with us today. So in order to be able to share that, you just have to say, hey, I welcome you to share. Now, don't worry. I promise we're not going to sell it for a million dollars. 
I promise. And if we do, it's your, it's your million dollars too. But anywho, um, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, like I said, we'll be doing a survey. And then next our party in July is with Molly. And we're going to be doing some wild stuff. And we're still kind of figuring out what it's going to be. But we're trying to mix some weird mediums together. So it's going to be really fun. July 25th. Um, 6.30, same time, uh, same beautiful channel. And uh, yeah, thanks again. Uh, keep making art, keep being fanciful and, and musical, and mm -hmm. thanks for joining us. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you.